Hello, Northern and beautiful. Welcome again to my channel for those of you who are new. Hi, my name is Lena. It's nice to have you here. Okay, if you remember, two months ago I did my Movie Monday planning. So today I will do my Movie Monday planning for this summer. In the summer, plenty of movies are coming. Most of them are action movies. Most of them are sci-fi movies. And of course, we have one or two comedies. Actually, plenty of comedies. One or two romantic movies to be uh, more specific and I'm going to share with you the movies that I am quite excited to watch for this summer. Alright, let's begin. I even have my list here. So, yeah, here it is. The first movie on my list is Legend of Tarzan. Okay, I saw the trailer about two months ago. I I'm excited to watch this movie because this time the story is absolutely different. This time the story focuses more on Tarzan's life after uh, him becoming a lord, you know. And uh, this time he... And in the beginning of the story basically he is living in England with his wife Jane. But uh, he has to go back to Africa to deal with some... How you say it in English? Some government problems, obviously. And I, uh, I'm i excited because, as I mentioned, it's a different story. This time we are not talking about Tarzan being found by men and going back home. No, this time he is in England and he really goes back home to solve the problems. And another reason I'm excited to, to watch it is because of, of course, Alexander Skarsgård. We all like him. Let's face it, darlings. We were all crazy about Eric Nordman in uh, True Blood. Alexander Skarsgård. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to say it, but I believe I'm saying it right. We also have there Samuel L. Jackson, who is a legend. Uh, let's face it, he is amazing. And Margot Robbie, well, she is most famous because of her role in The Wolf on Wall Street. And I, I am happy to see her not so much as this bombshell here. I don't think she's going to be a bombshell. After all, she's playing Jane. Jane is not a bombshell. And that's good. You know, that's what acting is about. Becoming a different person, obviously. The next movie on my list is Independence Day Resurgence. Resurgence? Is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? Resurgence. Okay, the, the second Independence in, in, let's call it Independence Day 2. Uh, the mo first movie is classic, we have to admit that. I saw the trailer and I was like, for God's sake, they can't think of something new. What? I was like, why do they have to go back with another movie? But, I don't know, maybe the second trailer changed my mind. Now. I am waiting for this movie for sure. I mean, it seems interesting now. The first trailer was just like, oh, big deal, nothing interesting. But this time it's like, hmm, maybe it is going to be interesting. Okay, I need a tea. By the way, this is a nice tea. Oh, it's good. Well, I suppose Will Smith is not going to be in the movie this time. At least, no, 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 I saw him on the trailer. Anyway, this was the second movie. Now, the movie I am most excited about for this summer. I am waiting for this movie for months. I saw the trailer four months ago. And believe it or not, I am watching this trailer every morning before I go to work. That's how obsessed with this movie I am. It's me before you. I'm excited about this movie and it's not just because of Emilia Clark and some Claffin. Yes, I said it correctly. It's a story. I, I even downloaded the book and now I'm going to read it. I'm waiting for this movie so much, but unfortunately... Okay, I'll tell you why I said unfortunately. Okay, the world premiere is in 3rd of June, but... The premiere in Bulgaria is on 24th of June. Three weeks! Three weeks! I mean, 
it's up, up it sucks completely so the story is about Louisa and Will yes Will was her, his name and Will is paralyzed he can't move he is quite intelligent while Louisa well she's not stupid she's more like she's in the, her comfortable zone and it's enough for her but Will is pushing her to try new things to, and live life to the fullest just live and enjoy life and I'm excited I am so happy for this movie I I can't wait oh if you are waiting for this movie just like me thumbs up I'm serious guys I know it's a love story movie and that's not typically the movie I enjoy watching but for this movie spe uh, specifically I'm excited I am waiting for this movie. I will break my rules and I will go and watch this love story just because I know it's re it, it really is going to make my day an amazing one. The next movie is Money Monster. Now, Money Monster was presented this year at Cannes Film Festival. For those of you who don't live in Europe, let me just say this movie festival is one of the hugest. I mean, this is the movie festival, you know? This is the festival that proves to Europe that actually you are capable to do good movies. Well, most of the times. The movie is already in theaters and next week I'm going to watch it. Yes, because my schedule is quite free next week. I'm surprised. My Zumba classes are off for just this week. So I will be able maybe to watch one, two, oh, maybe two uh, movies next week. And this one is going to be one of the movies, for sure. The Money Monster I uh, I checked is with George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Oh, it's directed by Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster is an amazing actress. And I think I have seen some of her movies uh, as a director. And I think she's good. It's going to be interesting. You know what? what? I think she's one of the most original personalities in Hollywood ever. Anyway, so pretty much it tells the story about this uh, financial financial network host, you know. Cable financial guru Lee Gates is in the midst of airing the latest edition of his show, Money Monster. Less than 24 hours earlier, IBS Clear Capital's stock inexplicably catered due to a glitch in a trading algorithm costing investors 800 million dollars so I guess it's going to have some problems with the money indeed and Julia uh, Roberts is playing the director of uh, his show Jack O'Connell oh. oh Jack O'Connell is also uh, in this movie he played uh, Louis Zamperini in Unbroken by Angelina Jolie and I think he was very good then so yeah this is going to be an interesting one well, not like Wall Street, maybe, but I need to check and I'll tell you. Alright, something else I'm excited since, I think, last year I saw the first trailer, The Secret Life of Pets. Okay, I have a dog. I have an English Cocker Spaniel and she's so cute. But sometimes, you know, you wonder what the hell our pets are doing when we are gone. Because, believe it or not, she has to stay for about 4-6 or six hours alone in our house. This is a funny story what the pets actually do when their owners are not uh, at the house. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm excited. And it's, it's an animation movie. I know I'm a little bit older for that, but I enjoy animations and cartoons. I don't know. I think they're the perfect way to relax. Okay, the next movie I have on my list is actually a remake of an original one. And this movie is Ben Hur. 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 Ben Hur. Okay, the original movie is classic. I recommend you to watch it. And I think I have watched the original movie maybe at least 10 times. This one, the new one, I think the story is way different. First, Ben Hur and Masala are brothers. In the original movie, they are not brothers. And second, I think here 
they're going to use way more special effects. Well, now we it's 21st century and pretty much we have way, way, way more special effects than back then. So I think it's going to be just for the special effects. I can't say I'm excited, but I want to see it. I want to see how someone else's imagination works because the first movie is classic, is an amazing movie. It has an Oscar and I hardly doubt this one is going to um, overstep it, you know. I hardly doubt that. But it's an option and I want to see it. Another movie which also was presented at this year's Cannes Film Festival is Cafe Society. Cafe. Cafe Society. Yes, Cafe Society. Okay, this is a movie uh, by Udi Allen. I have a big question mark on this movie and I'll tell you why. Because, okay, uh, I allow you to argue with me, but I think Udi Allen's movies are pretty much the same. I think it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. A guy has an ordinary life. He meets an ordinary girl. And this unordinary girl turns his life upside down and he wants her and da 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 etc etc. He loves her and loves her. She doesn't accept him this way. Then she starts to accept him this way. And honestly, it's the same story over and over again or something like that. So Mr. Riddle Allen won't be able to surprise me at all if you ask me, but still I want to watch this movie. I hardly doubt it's going to be in theaters here in Bulgaria, but still I'll find a way and I'm going to watch it just because, you know, it's just, just because. And this was the first movie that was projected at Cannes Film Festival, so I must see it. Besides, Blake Lively is there. I'm way more excited to see her than the fact that this is Woody Allen's movie. Oh, by the way, Blake Lively was amazing at this Cannes Film Festival. I wasn't there, but I was checking fashion, TV, sp uh, Facebook page, and all other uh, media, uh, and and all other social medias, and she looked amazing at in each outfit. I mean, my favorite one is this little blue dress, you know, she looked like Cinderella. She looked wonderful. She looked beautiful. I I guess she's the reason I want to watch this movie. Now, this movie has one of the most incredible actresses of our time. Actually, I think she was called the best living actress of our time. Meryl Streep. And the movie is called Florence Foster Jenkins. This is a biography movie for this opera singer who actually was, hadn't been able to sing at all. But still, she was chasing her dreams and she made it happen. It's going to be an interesting one. I think the, this woman looks kind of ridiculous according to the trailer, but I admire Meryl Streep for playing this role because Really, it looks a little bit ridiculous, but that was acting is being about to put yourself in a funny situation. And uh, also, we have Hugh Grant there, and it's—I uh, don't know—it it, it bugs me a little bit, you know. It bugs me to go there and watch it. Okay, we are going. I have two more guys, and the next one is our kind of traitor. I saw the trailer I think a month ago, and I thought it's going to be interesting. Besides, it is Ewan McGregor. I'm a fan of Ewan McGregor's works. I find him charming, adorable. I mean, this beautiful English uh, way he acts, it's nice. It's very nice. Okay, the story there is about this teacher and he meets this uh, Russian Mafia guy. The Russian Mafia guy gives him a uh, an information for the British government and pretty much he is going to sell every single Russian Mafia boss and every single guy in England with power who, had been, who has been bought by the Russian Mafia and it's going to be interesting I don't know I find this way more interesting than 
uh, other things I'm watching. For example, my mom wanted to watch this love story movie about two weeks ago, which wasn't the most interesting thing according to me, but this thing, this thing is going to, uh, to get me, you know, maybe I'll take her watch it. My mom doesn't go in theaters as often as she used to, and I want to do something nice for her. So, yeah, I'm a good daughter. And the next one, maybe it's it's something that got me quite nice. It's Central Intelligence with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart. I saw the trailer, the beginning, and any other kid on the place of uh, Dwayne's character would be devastated and broken and everything but his character the role he's playing actually turns out quite strong it's going to be funny and getting hard there too I I thought he's going to act goofy again like in this uh, think like a man act like a lady but I think his character here is way more serious than the previous he used to play I'm watching this trailer and I think, oh god, this is going to be interesting, this is going to be funny, I can't wait to watch it, it's going to be so hilariously awesome. And like uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson said there, I have a plan, it's a stupid idea, but if it works, it's going to be awesome. I mean, it's the same thing here. It's Yeah, 10 movies. I think I'm going to watch... I, I, I'm not saying I'm going to watch only these movies in the summer, but these are the, my top 10 I want to see for sure. So, two are going to be checked this week, and the others I will leave for the summer. I think I'm most excited for me before you. So this was my Movie Monday planning for summer 2016. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share because sharing is caring and as always guys remember to keep on smiling because obviously life is way too short fun. Bye guys!